Hello, in this video I will show you how to make your own sourdough starter from scratch. So we will need uh, flour and uh, water just as a uh, main ingredient and you will need a clean empty jar and it's very useful if you have this food scale you need to weigh the flour and the water and if you have the Pyrex glass with this scale it's also very useful. For the first day we will need 50 gram of flour and 50 milliliter of water and you have to mix it very well until there is no lump here I used all-purpose flour there is a table of uh, the amount of water and uh, flour that you need to feed your starter every day and I will show it on the uh, video and you can pause and take a note and screenshot and write it down so when you put the jar lid, you have to make it very loose that it, the air can absorb inside the jar. So with the help of the oxygen, the bacteria can grow and eat the protein of the flour and it can ferment. So put the lid very loose and don't forget to keep track on your table. From the tangy smell, you will know that fermentation has already started. So, for the second day, we will repeat the process. We will add more 50 gram of flour and 50 milliliter of water on the previous starter. So, all in all, it will be 200 gram of starter. The main ingredients are flour and the water and also very important thing is the time and the patience. For me, in the at very first when I was trying to have my own sourdough starter, it took 9 days to mature my starter. Don't worry too much if it's not getting there. After seven days, you will get it as soon as you get into the idea and you get to have the feeling of the texture of your sourdough. So we will get to there very soon. So make a mark on your table. It's very useful to be on track because after a few days you get very confused like Oh, how, how long has it been that I've been feeding the starter? Is it fourth or fifth date? So to avoid such kind of confusion, it's very useful to keep a track on the table. So as you can see, it started getting very bubbly and when it's very active, it rises very fast and it doubles and then it sits back. From the third day, we will start cutting out removing the half of the starter then we will increase the feeding amount of the flour and the water so on the third day we will remove 100 gram of starter and we will add more 100 gram of flour and 100 milliliter of water Pay attention to the texture of the starter. It has to be thick and pasty and not so runny. So once you get to the right uh, texture, you get the feeling of the right texture. Eventually you will not need the scale. You will just add the water and flour and you will know when it is um, the right portion of the flour and water and just pay really well attention to the texture of the starter.
day four we will again remove the half of the starter which is 150 gram of starter then we will add more 100 gram of flour and 100 milliliter of water again And again mix it really really well without no flour in the bottom of the jar sitting there not mixed with the water you can mix it with fork or spatula or spoon it will take like one or two minutes It's getting close, it's the fifth day now and again you will remove the half of the starter which is 200 gram and then you will add again 150 gram of flour and 150 milliliter of water. And I almost forgot very important thing to tell. You need to talk to your starter. You need to treat it as a live organism and you will support it like you can grow, you can, you're a very strong starter, you're doing it great. So it really helps like serve some love to the starter it, and it listens and it grows.
on the evening of the fifth day, my starter got really excited and in, and it spilled out of the jar. So it's a really good sign that it's getting activated very fast. It's day six. So we will do the same thing again, same process. We will remove the half of the starter, which is 250 gram of starter, and then add another 200 gram of flour and 200 milliliter of water. And just don't give up here like I know that you need to do the same process every day but actually it seems a lot but it actually it's not like it will only take five minutes in your 24-hour day so no worries be patient and be persistent and you're almost there I made a time lapse on day 6 to show you how fast it grows. So it means that my starter is already very mature that it doubles in 5 hours. On day 7, on the last day I didn't have to feed my starter again because it's already mature and that's it. At last I wanted to just try the water flowing method to test if it's ready. So I tried, I don't know it's um, the ultimate way to test your starter but I'm very confident in my starter. Anyways it's not working very well but Anywho, your starter is ready and good luck with your starter making journey and it's a really rewarding and very therapeutic process and thank you very much for watching.